Well, today I've come to present um, on the Global Targeted Returns Fund, which is our multi-asset fund uh, that uh, aims to deliver 5% uh, above uh, cash Euribor rates per year on a rolling three-year basis. Uh, that's one of the targets of, of our fund. The other is that we need to make sure that the volatility of the Global Targeted Returns Fund is no more than half of that of global equities. And the way we uh, create this portfolio, this fund, is we typically have 20 to 30 investment ideas that are macro-themed ideas in the portfolio. And once we've identified a big picture macro theme that's going to play out over a two to three year time horizon, we then think about the best market investment expression of that idea. And we, we invest typically in equity markets, bond markets, fixed income, volatility, uh, corporate bonds, and, and even inflation. Uh, so uh, very much a, a super diversified portfolio uh, across multiple asset classes aiming to give you equity-like performance, but with a much smoother profile of, of volatility and performance. Well, it's interesting today, uh, you know, obviously a, a lot of interest in, in the multi-asset sector, and certainly in the last five, seven years, a, a bigger interest in, in the sector, because I think investors want a, a reasonable return outlook and an outcome from the assets they hold in, in their portfolios, but they don't want the volatility that we've seen historically and have been seeing uh, recently and there's been a lot of questions from uh, delegates at, at the conference today trying to understand uh, how we manage the risk in our portfolio, the sorts of ideas that we have in our portfolio and the market expressions of those ideas and, and talks of you know uh, interest rates being far too low, some concerns about equity valuations and, and delegates really uh, wanting to get uh, a, a good impression as to how we combine all our ideas in our portfolio to hit the, the, the volatility target, which is, is less than half that of equities, while at the same time aiming for equity-like performance, the 5% above uh, Euribor that we're aiming for in, in the portfolio. So it was, a, it was a, I think, a very interesting uh, day uh, to date. And we, uh, you know, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of questions, and I think. It's just symptomatic of, of the move away from traditional asset classes. Investors very concerned about the level of government and sovereign bond yields. Uh, some concerns that credit spreads are too tight and the absolute yield on corporate bonds is, is too low, specifically investment grade bonds. And concerns that the volatility in equity markets are picking up. Uh, and as a result of that, uh, investors want a, a smoother path of performance for their portfolios. And I think multi-asset fits, fits that their agenda right now and I think this is a growing uh, sector in, in, in investments and I think five years ago if we were sitting here most investors would have considered five or ten percent a reasonable exposure in this area. I think today in 2015 it's, it's closer to 20 percent uh, just anecdotally talking to people um, this is the sort of allocation that they're now putting in the multi-asset area. Having uh, six to eight, eight people in a room uh, is, is, a, is a reasonable number of people to get a, a discussion going. I think, it, and clearly, it gives everyone uh, an opportunity over the 45 minutes that we have with them to, to, to answer questions they don't feel overawed by the, 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 the venue. Uh, and so I think it's a very good way to interact with potential customers and for those, those potential clients to interact with, with the fund managers um, and you know, I think I think it worked pretty well. Um, and I think w one other thing about these these events, having an intensive set of meetings over a day and a half or two days, I think is a very good use of people's time. Uh, people come from far and wide to these events, um, and I think if they can see a lot of fund managers across different asset classes in different areas, um, looking at things in different ways, they get a good understanding of of the sorts of funds that are out there that may be appropriate for them. So I think it's a very good use of time for, for all concerned.